Welcome back to Climate Pledge Arena. Kraken fans hoping to soak it all in tonight before the team heads back out on the road. It'll be a little bit of time before we see him back. Oh, look at that. Oh, hand in hand. For now. For now. For now. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Let's hope it's the Kraken fan that's going to be a, a little bit happier a that's couple right. hours from now. All right, it's almost game time. Let's send it upstairs. John Forslund and JT Brown. Guys, it's all yours. Okay, Tom, thanks very much. We are ready to go here, and the Kraken better be ready too. But I'll tell you what, JT, as you know, there's nothing more important to team success in hockey than the goaltender, right? It has to start with him. And Philip Grubauer was spot on against Washington here on Sunday. Sunday night. You take a look at his period by period totals, especially in the third period when he was overly taxed, but he was sensational in timely fashion. We're going to take a look at this first breakaway save he had in the first period. This was a timely save to keep the game at 1 0 Washington at that time. You look at some of these third period chances from Washington. They had an onslaught of chances on Grubauer. He looked strong. He was confident in the crease and ended up only allowing one goal in that third period, but he looked fantastic. Well, Washington came in on Sunday, third best overall. The number one team in the NHL is here tonight. The Carolina Hurricanes sometimes get typecast as a team with tremendous offensive skill, and they have that. But their defensive acumen is second to none. And Frederick Anderson is in his first season as a Hurricane, and he has been spectacular. That he has. Carolina plays very good defensively. Their structure is awesome. They rarely break down, but when they do, he's been stellar so far this season. He leads the league right now in wins with 11. He's had an excellent start to this season coming over from Toronto, and he's been a star for their team. An outstanding. He leads the NHL with seven wins on the road, but the Kraken want nothing to do with that tonight. They want to score in bunches like they did Sunday here against Washington. It's the night before Thanksgiving. It's the Carolina Hurricanes and the Seattle Kraken right here on Root Sports. Welcome to the following presentation of the National Hockey League. The Seattle Kraken are back in the win column. They score! Jaden Schwartz and the Seattle offense exploded for five goals, while Philip Grubauer and the defense ensured Sunday night ended with some salmon tosses into the seats. Tonight, the Carolina Hurricanes come roaring to the shores of the Puget Sound, packing a potent combination of scoring and stifling defense. The Kraken look to weather the storm and cap off the homestand with a second straight victory. Next on Root Sports. a stiff challenge tonight for the Seattle Kraken here in the Emerald City on the night before Thanksgiving as they get set for the Carolina Hurricanes. We bring you back inside Climate Pledge Arena. And now for the presentation of the Star Spangled Banner, here's the very fine PA voice of Climate Pledge, Joshua Hunter. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the it's a red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled
Outstanding rendition of our national anthem. Dave Hackstall was looking for a quality first period on Sunday night. Well, Washington scored first, but he was impressed with the way his team dug in, responded, and it was a 5-2 victory. Rod Brindamore is the reigning NHL Coach of the Year. He has led Carolina to the postseason three consecutive seasons. Conference final in 2019, second round exits the last two. His team is 4-0-1 in their last five. Philip Grubauer coming off his best performance of the season. For me, the number one star against Washington, albeit Jaden Schwartz had four points in the game. Due respect to him. Freddie Anderson has earned all kinds of respect around the league with seven wins on the road that leads the NHL. The Snoqualmie Casino Sportsbook face-off. Yanni Gord, Jordan Stahl. Sit back and enjoy this one off the draw. Philip Grubauer will tend to it. Knocked down by Carolina's Jesper Faust. Stahl coming off his 600th game as a hurricane on Monday in a 2-1 to overtime loss trying to make it happen out in front. And the Kraken clear it all the way back down. Icing is called here. Well, this is something you're going to see all night from Carolina. Close gaps from the defenseman just forces Yarncroke to make that pass a little bit too far in front of the red line. Wasn't able to get across. There's going to be an icing. As you can see, the starting lines, defense pairings at the top of your screen, brought to you by Emerald Queen Casino. Off the faceoff, Carolina goes to work. They are number one overall in the NHL. Schwartz, a goal and three helpers on Sunday, turned out and directed out of play by Freddie Anderson. Really nice move there by Schwartz. Pulls the puck to the inside, goes back to the outside, had Cole a little bit turned around on that play, gets a shot off. You're going to see those nice hands pulling it to the inside, goes back through his skates to the outside, able to get the shot. Freddie Anderson's smart, intelligent, sticks the puck, gets it out of play, and now you have the faceoff. Game number 18 for Carolina. They are 14-2-1, 8-1-1 on the road. Seattle closing out a six-game homestand tonight. A road trip starts the day after Thanksgiving in Tampa. Jeremy Lozon tied up along the boards. Tavo Terrapinen, Stephen Lawrence in back of the goal. Now Terrapinen, low to high. Tony D'Angelo this way. Jacob Slavin, his shot blocked in front by Adam Larson. Lawrence off the blocker of Grubauer. Adeline Sues in back of the goal. Lozon pokes it along. A force by D'Angelo. He had Carolina's only goal on Monday at the Shark Tank. And now Larson, in a battle along the boards, will pop it out for Jordan Everly. And a seven-game point streak interrupted on Sunday. Marcus Johansson on Tony D'Angelo as we see it up close. Everly goes to work. Pickpocketed by Slavin. He recovers on McCann. And the Hurricanes get it out. Carson Soucy. Little chip and charge off the stick of Jared McCann, who scored on the power play on Sunday. Mason Appleton, first game back after missing 11 with a lower body concern. Offside is called at the Seattle Blue Line. See Seth Jarvis, the former Portland Winterhawk of the Western Hockey League. First round pick, riding a point streak, four consecutive games. JT, they're very high on him. Yeah, he's looked really good so far throughout this year. One of those situations, he's young. He could have gone back, but he's been playing way too well right now for Carolina. He's made this team. Sebastian Ajo, Jordan Martinook, Seth Jarvis on this line. For the Kraken, it's McCann, Appleton, and Brandon Tanner. In back of the goal, kicked out by Seattle's Vince Dunn. Ajo off a body out in front. McCann out to center. This is Mason Appleton, the former Winnipeg Jet, swept along by Frederick Anderson. Martinook out to center ice. Carolina on the attack. Ajo taken down by Dunn. Seth Jarvis given a shove by Carson Soucy, who's run into in a hard way by Jordan Martinook. Dunn gets to it for the crack and a turnover. Jarvis with a shot off a stick, off McCann. It goes out of play. Really good defensive plays from Dunn and Susie. Those are the things you're going to need to do against this Carolina team. First is a hit, 
on Jarvis in the middle. Then you have another hit on Tara Vinen. you got to be in their face at all times. Try to slow them down, and being physical is one of those ways. Former Hurricane Morgan Geeky. Big night for him. Appleton taking the place of Ryan Donato. The only change for Dave Haxtall. No changes on defense. Geeky wins the draw for Jonas Donskoy. Still looking for his first goal of the season. He'll pitch it by Slavin. Colin Blackwell coming off two really solid games out of the corner. Wrestled up by D'Angelo to the point. Here's Jamie Oleksiak looking for a tip just wide of Anderson. With Donskoy and Geeky out in front. Donskoy a spinorama off a stick to the corner. Moving in now is Oleksiak given a shove by Jesperi Kukaniemi. It's held in by Morgan Geeky. On a good play, a self-pass doesn't work. Slavin rejects it. Giordano right back in the Kane zone. D'Angelo will chip and charge. That time by Nino Niederreiter. Reversed by Oleksiak. Kukaniemi in back of the goal. First season as a hurricane. Floored by Jamie Oleksiak. Out of the corner now, Blackwell. A lead pass for Yanni Gore. He'll rim it in back of Anderson this way. Martin Natchez. Scored a beautiful goal. Difference maker Saturday in Los Angeles for Carolina. Adam Larson in deep. Jaden Schwartz defensively occupied by Brett Pesci. Pesci on Schwartz. A good battle here. Schwartz stays with it. Carolina gets to it. Fed out of the zone by Brady Shea. This will be icing. And the faceoff comes back in the Carolina zone. Strong start for Seattle's defense. You get a real big hit here by the big rig, Alexiak on Kokaniemi. That's a welcome, that's a wake up right into the game. Hello, how are you doing? Jamie Alexiak lays the boom on that one. That's a wake up call, right? Sometimes you gotta take a hit or give a hit to get into the game. No snooze button on that one. Absolutely that's not. Loud and clear. Now Pesci to the outside. Everly, Johansson off a body, off a stick, off Pesci, and now Alex Wenberg for Seattle. He'll cycle, stop on Brady Shea, given a shove by Shea, supporting it. Johansson, Marcus Johansson, trading places with Susie. His shot blocker saved by Anderson. And the Hurricanes get it out. They need a change. Johansson given a rough ride by Andre Svechnikov. And now Seattle with D to D passing Susie right up the gut. Clears it down for Ison. Susie just missed him through the middle. He's trying to find Everlay, trying to play fast, try to get it up quickly, just off to the offside. Everlay wasn't able to get a piece of it, but it's the idea and you'd like to see them try to play fast because Carolina's going to play fast as well. Carolina's coach, Rod Brindamore, gets the Ajo line out there with Martin Nook and Jarvis. Done in the corner. Sebastian Ajo for Jordan Martin. Look, a nice sweep check that time on him by Vince Dunn. The Kraken in possession. Here they come. Joe Hansen marked by three. One of those was the rookie Seth Jarvis who comes all the way down. Tony D'Angelo who's having a great season. Almost a point a game player from the back end and really good on their power play which is elite. Tanev turns it over. Martin Hook out of the corner. Here's Slavin at the point. Jordan Martinuk, Slavin, a wrister, off a body, off Tannen. And now Larson, hard pressed. He survives the forecheck. McCann, indirect pass out to neutral ice. Snapped in the zone by Carolina's Jacob Slavin. See the records when scoring first. Carolina likes their leads. Now, fan down opportunity by Larson. Jeremy Lozon walks the line a bit. Plays it off a body captured by Carolina's Tavo Terrafinen. Stephen Lawrence fielded by Larson. The veteran takes it back off the window. Out to center, it's Blackwell. Two on two with Morgan Geeky. Good stick by the veteran Ian Cole. Won two Stanley Cups 2016 and 2017 with Pittsburgh. Out to center. Brendan Smith got a stick to it ahead of Blackwell. Here come the Canes. Trocek holding onto it. Off the body. Blocked by Oleksiak. Terabinen goes deep. Vinny Trocek has Lawrence out in front. He goes to the point. It's Pesci. Brett Pesci off the corner wall. Corralled by Lawrence. Stephen Lawrence, a seventh round draft choice. A great story. Played along the boards and back. Shea with a shot off the posterior side of Vinny Trocek. And Seattle will settle it down. Jonas Donskoy. Forged in the zone by Alexiak. 
Terrafinen went down. A rise from the crowd. Now Nino Niederreiter. Closed on by Yanni Gore. The Canes reorganize. Pesci moving ahead. Offside was Yanni Gord. We get a stoppage of play. 13.43 left in the opening period. A spirited start as we start the holiday season here in Seattle. Here is tonight's Xfinity powerful connection. JT, you're going to love this footage. Hall of Fame footage of Kraken general manager Ron Francis as a member of the Hartford Whalers. How about that, Sully? He's ahead of his time with that. And then coming to the Carolina Hurricanes at the end of his career. Just an iconic player, now running the Kraken. That number 10 is retired in Raleigh. He was outstanding in all three zones. I'm gonna make sure I bring up that Sally next time I, <laughs> I run into him. Won a couple of Stanley Cups with Mario Lemieux, Yarmir Yager, and the Pittsburgh Penguins in the early 90s. But has a strong connection connection and has a lot to do with some of the players that are still on this Carolina roster. Brady Shea moved along the boards. It goes by Svechnikov. It travels all the way down to Grubauer. He'll manage the game here and get a faceoff. So you take a look at it here in terms of the Whalers and the Canes. These are all franchise records. But again, it was not only that stuff, but he was great defensively, too, and he was just a wonderful guy in the community. Those gloves look like they weigh about five pounds each. And the Cooperalls, the long pants. Hartford wore those, and so did the Philadelphia Flyers back in the dark ages. Now, Grubauer will hang on to that one. Face off in the Seattle zone. Your thoughts on the start here? So far, it's been good. They've been limiting, uh, they've been limiting the chances in their defensive zone, keeping them to the outside. Not a lot of shots for either team right now. It's sort of a feeling out process, but again, a lot of the shots and everything that the Canes have had in the defensive zone has been on the outside. Yeah. That will please Dave Hackstall. That's a must against Carolina. We'll get into it, how they play, how quick they play, and why. Need a rider. Out of the corner, Kokaniemi moved along. Near side, a pinch by Slavin. Everly is there for the Kraken out to center, Wenberg. And the Canes will get to it. Marty Natchez will take it back. He a first round pick of Ron Francis in 2017. Johansson off the Angelo. Fumbled by Anderson. Hack and whack time. And they blow it down. Frederick Anderson thought he had it, but he did. What seemed like a, a harmless shot from the sidewall from Johansson ends up being a little bit tough to handle. It's right on the line. The ref is going to blow the whistle. He loses sight of the puck. It's the right call to make. Even though the puck is free, as soon as the ref loses sight, you're instructed to blow the whistle. To be fair to Anderson, I think it fluttered off the stick of D'Angelo. Might have changed direction a little bit. But Freddie Anderson, in terms of his technique and his angles, he's been almost flawless all season. And that's why they've been so good is because of his play. Two new goaltenders for Carolina this season. Monty Ranta is the backup, and he played very well Monday night in San Jose. Trocek, nice force by Carson Soucy. The Canes will get it deep. Vince Dunn on his horse, paired with Soucy. Carson Soucy moves it by Vincent Trocek. Moving in is Brady Shea for Carolina. He's got it now, the former Ranger. Stood up by Alex Wenberg. Left to the corner, Trocek now. Steven Lawrence to the point. One-timer Pesci tipped wide. Off Wenberg. Getting to it is done. He'll try this side. To the wing for Everly. Sealed off by Tara Vinen. It comes back. Susie moves it. Vince Dunn. Two four-checkers in for Carolina. Trocek is one of those. They battle along the boards. It pops out as we see it. Right out in front, taken care of by Grubauer. Lawrence holding onto it. Steven Lawrence was a healthy scratch on Monday. Terravine it in front. Grubauer takes a swipe at it and survives. It's turned back by Jordan Eberle. And Seattle will get out of Dodge. Six shots in the game, four taken by the Kraken. 11.39 left, period one. 
John and JT with you as always. Ajo for Martin Okoff is shin guard. He recollects it. Carolina regroups. Here's Jarvis. Seth Jarvis throws on the brakes. Threads it by Brendan Smith. Stick save Grubauer. Seattle back out. Tannen in the middle of the ice. Fumbled by McCann. He gets it back and a reset for Mark Giordano. Jared McCann with an aerial flip underneath one twin. That being the scoreboard. It's caught by Anderson. No further play. They call these two things the twins. You know that. I do know. I do know, and just before that, when McCann lost the puck, they had a three-on-two developing, just wasn't able to control the puck, but he does the right thing on the second attempt, just making sure the puck goes in. Anderson does freeze that high flip, and now they have a good offensive zone faceoff where they can try to get an offensive play here. And the twins are identical. Sit on that for a while. Now it's cleared out the center. Giordano. I get feisty around the holidays, you'll find out. Now along the boards, it goes deep. Giordano, back of the goal, Alexiak. He'll wheel out. Out to center ice. Gloved down by D'Angelo. In the defensive zone, they play on. Almost halfway through period one, here's Svechnikov. With a shot rubbed out, good block by Jamie Alexiak. Mason Appleton through center. Ice cut in half nicely by Jesper Faust. It comes in, D'Angelo moves it, he turns it over. Larson with a shot, it sails high over the left shoulder of Anderson. Now it loads on. Blackwell, Donskoy, right down Broadway. Good poke check by Faust. Blackwell detected by Stahl, and the Hurricanes flip it out. Lozon plays it. He's pestered by Andre Svechnikov. Seattle's back on it. Donskoy winds it up. Lozon taken down by Svechnikov, well off the play. As the teams were changing, now Natchez to the outside. Kokodiemi shies away from a hit and dumps it in. Larson to the outside. Moved along, back out to center. You see it come all the way back. In the Carolina zone, Brendan Smith. First season as a cane. Taken down on the way out by Schwartz. Niederreiter lends a helping hand. 9.45 left, period one. Smith, a quick up. Niederreiter along the boards, Pester taken off it by Carson Soucy. He'll cut. Niederreiter is all over him. Kokodiemi attempting to dig it out. Schwartz had it. He lost it. Now Yanni Gord in deep, given a shove. Niederreiter left it there. Gord, diligent, but it's broken up. Natchez faking the one-timer. Shea, a tip right on. Grubauer said no off Kokodiemi, and now Dunn can't get it out. Here's Natchez. He'll go to work. He'll dance a bit. He'll cut away from Dunn. Marty Natchez holding on to that puck. Standing on a pass. He gets it back. He sails it by Pesci, and Seattle retracts. Carson Soucy. Stretches out the ice for Yanni Gord. He'll see his former team on Friday. The Tampa Bay Lightning. Pesci in control. Move to the outside. Trocek gave it away. Everly sends it back. Giordano now Alexiak. 8.50 on the clock. Left in period one. Wenberg off the stick of Anderson. Shea forced by Marcus Johansson. Trocek moves it. Lawrence is there. Seattle pounces on it. It's Wenberg. He'll move it to Jordan Everly, who's marked defensively by Slavin. Everly leaves it in back of the goal. Free to the near wall. Johansson for Seattle. Oleksiak with a shot. Fought off by Anderson. It goes high. The big rig goes to work. Oleksiak out of the corner, supported by Everly out in front. Nobody home, just by Johansson. Lawrence pokes it, not out. Held in by Wenberg. Everly out of the corner, low to high. Here's Giordano. He'll stretch it out. Jordan Everly, Mark Giordano, a shot wide through a screen. Johansson out in front. Trocek moves it. Good pressure by Seattle. It comes all the way back down. Really good shift from Seattle. They were moving with and without the puck, creating confusion for Carolina in the defensive zone. The best shot was from Giordano. Didn't end up making it to the net, but it was a shot with the screen, and Freddie Anderson couldn't see it. Good stuff. 7.52 left in period one here at Climate Pledge Arena, where the fans always have a great time. Kraken Hockey is presented by Muckleshoot Casino, the biggest and best in the Northwest, and by your local Ford dealer, home of the F-150, America's best-selling truck for 44 years. Seattle Center lit up, absolutely beautiful. Goal is start inside Climate Pledge Arena. John Forslund, JT Brown, along with our great crew, back with you. 
Eight shots in the game. Five taken by Seattle. Pesci. Blocker save with a purpose by Grubauer. Shea right through the slot. Now Ajo cuts on McCann. Brett Pesci at the point. Wristing one easily detected by Philip Grubauer. No further play. A nice little move up top from Pesci just to be able to get this shot through. Tanev is in the lane. It's a little fake. Gets it out. Martin Nook in front looking not very happy. Looks right up. He wanted to tip that. Without a tip, it goes right into Grubauer's glove for a pretty easy save. Seattle looking for their fifth win on home ice in their existence. And now Adam Larson out to center. Off the stick of Jaden Schwartz. Aho. Can't get to it. Gord will. Yanni Gord cranks it up. He'll turn one deep. Nice retrieval by Schwartz. Jaden Schwartz drops it off. Intended for Kelly Arnfro. Kicked out by Shea. Gord with nobody home in front. Larson was lurking on the back door. He's got it now. He's pestered by Jarvis. Pesci takes over. This is Sebastian Ajo through the middle. Schwartz with a good play inside the line. The crack and dump it out. No icing here. Both teams are changing. 13 minutes gone in the opening period. Slavin, D'Angelo, a dump in on Grubauer. He'll leave it for Jamie Oleksiak by Everly. Slavin at the point. Maris shot off a body off Jordan Stahl. Giordano in a battle of the two captains and now Johansson at his side Everly. Nice play by Slavin. Great hand eye. Knocking that one astray and now Everly hands it off to Johansson. He'll cut. Marcus Johansson threads it across. Here's Giordano. His shot wide of Anderson. It careens this way. Jordan Stahl off a stick. Picked up by Jesper Foss. In his second season, he'll move it in. It's with Carolina. Now it's taken all the way back. Lost had some outstanding years as a New York Ranger. McCann broken up. Kokodiemi for Natchez. Nullified by Giordano. Mason Appleton can't get to it. Separated from it by Niederreiter. Natchez across off a stick. Hammered from the point. Grubauer said no. Shot taken that time from well out by Ian Cole. Out the center, it's Natchez. He'll circle away from McCann. Marty Natchez to the outside of Dunk. A tough angle off the stick of Grubauer. He'll manage it here and get a face off. 542 left in the opening period. The Carolina Hurricanes make their only appearance here in Seattle. It's a goal of start. Well, tonight is a special one for Seattle's Morgan Geeky. This is his first baptism in the National Hockey League. His debut against the Pittsburgh Penguins in early March of 2020. He had two goals and an assist. They went to Detroit. I know this. I was actually at this game, believe it or not. They went to Detroit. He scored again. Then the league went on pause. He is the focus of tonight's Symmetra teammates. It's a pretty special first game, an impressive one at that. We've already seen glimpses of that so far this year. He's only 23, right? So there's a couple of ways to look at this. We'll get to it in a second here. Brendan Smith, when you formulate an expansion team, you can take a ton of veterans, which Ron Francis did, but you can also take young players like a geeky, like Jeremy Lozon, who has the puck now, who are only 23 with a real high ceiling. This one travels by Frederick Anderson, icing against Seattle. We'll swing it back. Yeah, it's always a gamble on who you decide and if they're going to, you know, live up to that potential. Morgan Geeky has a very high ceiling of where he can get to in this league. We've seen a lot of, you know, his shot and how good and how accurate it can be. And you're betting on that. That's what you're betting on that youth and that they're going to grow into the player that everyone thinks they can be. See his numbers in the circle the last two. He won six out of eight draws against Washington here on Sunday in the 5-2 win. Stephen Lawrence will oppose him. A clean win for Geeky. Lausanne given a shove by Vincent Trocek. Puck free to the corner. Lawrence looks for Trocek. He'll move it along. He's really hit in a hard way by Lausanne. And now Donskoy, Blackwell. Helps it all the way back in Carolina ice. Tavo Terabinen rims it. Lawrence is given a shove that time by Larson. Jeremy Lozon, pestered by Trocek, he'll go. So Vincent Trocek will protest, but he better call a lawyer because this is the appropriate call. Delayed whistle. 
And Seattle will get six out. Grubauer on the bench. Play will stop if Carolina gets possession. Johnny Gore wheeled back. Dunn will take it back. 428 left in this first period. A lead pass. Giordano through the middle. Gore full flight. Here's Everly right in. Stopped by Anderson. Seattle now to the power play. Carolina number 16, minor penalty for hooking. Trotrek is on the forecheck. He's going for the stick lift. It's right on the hands of Lausanne. That's where the call is going to be made. Just like you said, Johnny, it's the right call. Here's a good look after the net is empty. Everlay gets a good shot on net. Kicks it out from Gord. Shot goes out. The rebound goes to Carolina. Play is dead right after that. Now you have a good opportunity on the power play with four minutes and 19 seconds left. And the Kraken have been red hot with their power play. Five for 11 in the last five. They have moved up to 21. They were dead last. And the power play has scored in four consecutive games. Muckle shoot casino power play. First up tonight's game. Now Everly out to center. It'll hand off Marcus Johansson. He'll clear it in. Pesci defending for Carolina. Brady Shea looks to get to it. Alex Wenberg is there for the Kraken. Out of the four-man scrum, Giordano to the outside. Everly right through the seam. Went off Jordan Stahl, collected by Wenberg. Popping out, Donskoy. He'll cut in the ring. Getting to it, Everly out of the reach of Giordano. Carolina will change the killers. They are outstanding on the kill. They have killed off 11 of 12 in the last five. They are third best in the league. They are number eight on the road. Gord with a shot blocked by Ian Cole. Loose stick on the ice, as you see. Gord all the way around. Morgan Geeky awaiting the puck. He'll take it in. Snap a pass off for Jaden Schwartz. To the point, it's Vince Dunn. Schwartz again, cross ice. McCann, his shot blocked by Cole. Good play by the veteran. Out of the corner, Cole moves it for Jacob Slavin to the wall, out of the reach of Schwartz. Good keep by Dunn. McCann pops it out right to Ian Cole, and the Canes will kill some time. Yeah, one of the reasons why they're so good is they're good at anticipating the next play. They have guys already moving, so as soon as that puck is bobbled, they have the anticipation to jump right away. 20 seconds left on this power play. Dunn, Schwartz out in front off the stick, defensive stick of Pesci. Geeky for McCann this way, out of the reach of Schwartz. 12 seconds on the power play. He'll take it in. He'll take it downstairs. Lay it along for Gord. Dunn to the high slot. Now Gord again. Cuts. Away from Natchez. Dunn with a shot blocked by Jordan Martinook. He gets it back. Trochik's out of the box. It's out of the reach of McCann to the corner. By the Driftwood. Having a tough time with it is Brett Pesci. Broken up by Schwartz. Knocked out of midair by Gord. To the point man Alexiak. He'll reset it. Yanni Gord from the boards. Given a shot by Brady Shea. Gord again cuts away from him. Then he's hounded by Pesci. And it comes out to center ice. Under two minutes left in period one. Yanni Gord at the line. Peppered by Pesci. He gets it back. And it's broken up by Jordan Stahl. He'll go to work on Alexiak. Dunn moves it. Svechnikov reads it for Carolina. Colin Blackwell is on him. A buck 40 left in this first period. It's knocked down, fought for. Blackwell sends it back. Oleksiak, flushed out by Seth Jarvis. To the point, tailed in. D'Angelo, nice pass for Smith. His shot, they score! Through a screen out in front. Brendan Smith took a great pass from Tony D'Angelo. 128 left in this first period. Carolina breaks the ice. It's a really nice shot from Smith, but it's the play from D'Angelo up top that makes this all happen. Right there's the behind the back pass. You get two guys going to one. There's a screen in front, and Brendan Smith's shot is able to find the back of the net. A moving screen from Stahl, and a nice pass behind the back from D'Angelo sets up this great goal from Brendan Smith. Looks like it's clean all the way through, but you are absolutely right. Six foot four, Jordan Stahl took away the vision path. Second goal of the season for Brendan Smith. Brother Riley plays for the Vegas Golden Knights. Johansson Wenberg given a shove by Cole. 1.15 left in period one. 
Shots are now 9-6 Carolina. Jeremy Lozon, he'll clear it all the way around. Slavin turns away from Appleton. Wenberg in a battle for the Kraken. Nino Niederreiter out to center ice. Tough one for Larson. Here comes Ajo. Sebastian Ajo to the slot. Good stick by Johansson. Wenberg's on it. Johansson through the center zone. Moves it. Stolen by Carolina's Niederreiter. And the Kraken now reorganize. Here's Adam Larson. He'll cushion one off the glass. 35 seconds left in period one. Tara Vinen eludes the forecheck. Geeky cuts it off for Seattle out in front. Scooped up by Anderson. No further play. Just a little conversation in front. Still going on a little bit right now on the side between Schwartz and Cole. Not a, whole lot, not a whole lot going on from there, but yes, still a little conversation. I don't think Schwartz liked the little cross-check in front. No. That goal differential is impressive on the plus side for the Hurricanes. Washington scored first here on Sunday night. Kraken battled back. Brendan Smith has given Carolina a 1-0 lead. 27 and a fraction left in period one. Everly sends it deep. Shea for Carolina to the wall. Stahl can't get it out. Tipped wide by Schwartz. Giordano gets support from Schwartz right on the target, covered up by Freddie Anderson. A good shift and good pressure from Seattle Kraken on here. You have deep pinching, pucks getting thrown to the net. There's not a lot of time left, so yes, odd angles. You get this tip right here from Schwartz that goes up and over. A good shift and a good amount of pressure with just a little bit of time left on the clock. 12.6 seconds, that's enough time. Should Wenberg win the draw, he does not. Brady Shea has the puck with time, a quick up. Oh! Little wedge by Jordan Stahl, comes all the way back in, no icing, Susie. Center zone, Everly, gapping up his Pesci at the horn. That'll do it. Brendan Smith with the goal. Carolina has the lead after one. Kraken intermission presented by Jack in the Box is coming your way next. Good spirited first 20 minutes on the night before Thanksgiving. And a late goal by Brendan Smith solves the puzzle as he whistles it through a partial screen by Philip Grubauer. After one in Seattle, the Hurricanes won the Kraken. No score. Kraken Intermission is presented to you by Jack in the Box. The Kraken making their way to the locker room after the first period. The Carolina Hurricanes with the one. Nothing lead here at Climate Pledge Arena with Allison Lucan. I'm Tom Glasgow. I thought, honestly, the guys deserved a little bit better than that, but a late goal by the Canes uh, making the difference over those first 20 minutes. I agree. The Kraken looked really strong in this period. They were playing a lot of the ways that they want to play, clogging up lanes, an effective forecheck, many, many, many block shots, particularly early in some sustained offensive pressure. However, Carolina is the first team to put the puck back in the net. And the key to this play is twofold. First, that deceptive pass that comes from behind the back. And then look here at the screen from Jordan Stahl, number 11 for Carolina. He doesn't just stand in front of the goaltender. He's kind of slowly drifting, taking away the eyes of Grubauer as that puck comes in. Almost impossible to see where that yeah. puck's coming from. You could see Philip doing everything he could, dodging back and forth. <laughs> Where's the puck? Where's the shot coming from? All right, let's talk about Seattle offensively. Some very good chances in those first 20 minutes. Just couldn't cash in. If you look at what Seattle did, they were getting the majority of the shot attempts off this period. They were also winning the shot quality battle. And as we talked about, some sustained pressure there, some second chances that Dave Haxtell has really wanted to see his team generate, not just one and done, which was actually what we saw from Carolina a little bit more. Getting in close, firing off that puck, bodies in the right position to collect the bounce. Look here at where Seattle was getting into. A lot more, as I said, the green is shots on goal. You want to see that versus a lot of those red X's. 
they can get in closer. They can get more into the dangerous areas, but the volume was there, and again, they did develop the quality edge over Carolina. Well, for every goal scored by the Kraken this season, the WSECU will donate $250 to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Washington State. So for another reason, we look for more goals over the final two periods of play. Hey, 1,250 in that win over Washington on Sunday. We like that. We got more Kraken intermission coming your way. Good luck at the big wheel on this Thanksgiving Eve in Seattle. Kraken Intermission is presented to you by Jack in the Box. Well, it's not Thanksgiving, but it's, <laughs> it kind of sends you going off in the right direction, right? <laughs> Just some of the terrific food you will find right here. I love a good burger at Climate Pledge Arena. Carolina Hurricanes uh, leading the Seattle Kraken 1 0 after the opening period. Let's talk some defense, especially on the part of one Jamie Alexiak in the first period, Allison. It's a little a highlight segment I like to call Hi, I'm Jamie. We're going to see some physical play here. Is he it makes, time for Thanksgiving yet? He I'm, makes I'm some. Good, I'm good uh, he makes some introductions. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Alexiak just really embodied a lot of what this team is supposed to be about this year with a strong defense. You know, he's breaking up rush chances, also adding offense with shots, and then these big hits here as well. We talked about challenging the Canes on their offensive opportunities, breaking up their forecheck as well. This team likes to play as a five-man connected unit. When your defense is playing like that, you're going to see a stop for Carolina. And this is the end result. We talked about those red X's being the things you don't want to see. The block shots. Look how many for Carolina. And again, they are being kept outside of the dangerous areas. In the pregame show, we talked about their ability to get in close. Not happening for this team so far this game. So again, this defense, supported by their forwards, really effective in period one. I like that tough physical play by Jamie Alexiak. And we have uh, some fans here, I think, enjoy that as well. Cheering on the Kraken on this uh, Thanksgiving Eve. There it is, the uh, living wall here at Climate Pledge Arena. Stick around when we come back on Kraken Intermission. We're going to connect with Brad Adam, Jen Mueller as well. We've got the whole team for you. Stick around. Welcome back to Kraken Intermission, presented by Jack in the Box. You see the score there after the first 20 minutes. Hurricanes on top, 1-0. Kraken outshot 9-7 in that first period. Welcome inside Climate Pledge Arena at the Ford Sports Desk. Brad Adam with you. So the Kraken trailing again after the first period. Uh, not a good sign. They are 0-9 this year when trailing after one. Meanwhile, the Hurricanes 7-0 after leading after the first period. So somehow Kraken has to find a way to turn those streaks around. Uh, maybe Jamie Oleksiak. Oleksiak will certainly help do that. She, he talks to Jen Mueller about the first 20 minutes tonight. Jamie, it looks like from the beginning, you guys were controlling the pace of play, the physicality. How much of that is a carryover maybe from Sunday's game? Yeah, I mean, I think that's just a characteristic of our squad. You know, no matter what the, the outcome is of the period or the shift, we uh, make sure that we come out hard the next one. And I think it's just been our focus, taking it shift by shift. You know, uh, last game we got down early and we just stuck with it. And then the results came. So we just got to keep that mentality. In what ways have you maybe seen that cause some confusion and create some opportunities in the offensive zone? Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I think, you know, we got to be a team that's going to be, has to be uh, tough to play against, get to the dirty areas, get to the front of the net, and, you know, hopefully we get some uh, ugly ones. So, um, you know, I think we just got to keep working, keep chipping away at it, and like I said, the results will come. Lastly, what does it take to put one past Freddie in net? Um, again, obviously a hot goalie, so I think we just have to kind of make it difficult for him. We have to make sure he doesn't see the, the puck so well, and, um, you know, we get in his eyes a little bit and um, make it a difficult night for him. And, you know, I think uh, volume is going to be big for us, too, and getting bodies to the net. So uh, I think, uh, you know, obviously he's uh, been hot recently, and we just got to make sure we don't make it easy for him. All right, good luck in the second. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Jen, Jamie, thank you. And look now, your first period Mick delivery super mo moments. You saw that graphic. As the pucks get on the ice for warm up. Alexiak with 59 hits. There was a big one right there. You know, when you're 6'7, everything is kind of big. It's Grubauer. 
A nice save there again. He stopped eight of the nine shots there. I tell you, Yanni Gord, he's always smiling. This one does get by, though. Brendan Smith lights a lamp, his second goal. Carolina leads 1-0 after one. We're back in the Emerald City as the Kraken head down the tunnel to kick off the second period inside Climate Pledge Arena. Numbers made easy, sponsored by Geico. Carolina nine shots, Seattle had eight, one power play. It belonged to the Kraken, pretty close first 20. John Forsland, JT Brown back upstairs. Your thoughts on the first period? I thought it was a good period. You obviously don't want to be down one nothing after the first, but they did a good job of limiting Carolina's chances. Their cycle game, they were able to close out early a lot of the times. So overall, I thought it was a pretty good period. Kraken close out a six-game homestand here tonight. We'll be in Tampa on Friday, and it's time now for a taste of our Taco Bell take. It was announced yesterday that Brayton Point, outstanding number one center for Tampa Bay, is out four to six weeks, upper body concern. But as you know, JT, the Lightning have a boatload of depth. Played great last night in their win over Philadelphia. That they do. Braden Point is a player on that Lightning team that can get things going. He's not only a scorer, but he also is very good at setting things up. He's got that same motor, kind of like a Yanni Gord. But having him out definitely is not good for the team. But as you said, they have a lot of depth, a lot of good scores. Bracken kick off a road trip against the defending back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champs. Svechnikov shot turned out by Grubauer right off the opening faceoff. We'll hit the air at 3.30 from Tampa on Friday with Kraken pregame. Presented by Coors Light out in front. Pass intended for Jesper Faust interrupted. Svechnikov, good start to his second period. He'll fling one, picked off by Yanni Gord, the former Tampa Bay Lightning, and Kelly Arncroke sends it off the stick of Frederick Anderson. Jordan Stahl. Off the forechecking stick of Kelly Arncroke, you see it come all the way back in the Seattle zone. Jeremy Lozon is hard pressed by Jesper Foss. Jordan Everly, the second period of the long change out to center. Schwartz at the line for Gord. He'll take it in. Tough angle. Body saved by Anderson. Seth Jarvis cuts. Good pass out to center. Full flight. Sebastian Ajo for Ian Cole. His shot blocked on the way through. Good block by Lozon. Out of the corner, Jarvis. Hounded by Everly. Seth Jarvis, the rookie, goes low to high. Ian Cole. Wrist shot through a screen wide. Grubauer never moved. Now Marcus Johansson for the Kraken. Kicks it back. Ajo picks it off. Sebastian Ajo cycles out with it. He'll create a bit of space. At the point, Cole. Turnaround backhander by Martinook off the backside of Lozon. Adam Larson has the puck. Here come the Kraken out to center. He'll lift it in. Ian Cole. Marcus Johansson went down. Played it to the near wall. There's Everly by Ajo. Brendan Smith, the goal scorer, loses control. And it's held in by Carson Soucy. 1-0 Carolina. Now Seth Jarvis will just send it in. A long road trip out west for Carolina. That's not over yet. They will play on Black Friday in Philadelphia against the Flyers and then go home and see Washington in Raleigh on Sunday. Carson Soucy starts the breakout. Brandon Tanev back in his own zone, hounded a bit by Vinny Trocek. Tanev out to center. Little self-pass, he'll cradle it by Pesci, who defends it well for the Hurricanes. Goes by McCann, Stephen Lawrence. A lead pass for Tavo Teravina. Closing the gap is done. McCann shoves it out. And a heavy collision in back of the play. Vinny Trocek and Carson Soucy. Carson Soucy looking a little bit shaken up on the play. It's behind the play. Soucy's not looking. Trocek runs right into him. As you can see right there, might be one of the situations where, you know, it takes the wind out of you. A hit like that, you're not looking for it. You're not ready for a hit. Looks to be all right on the bench. Shook it off pretty well. Little grin, which is easy for him. Might be sucking in a little bit of wind there. 
Faceoff will be here just outside the blue line. Jared McCann and the Carolinas Jesperi Cook of the Emmy. Nature sends it back. Jacob Slavin. Through the center ice zone. Seattle on the march. Here's Tanev. This way McCann has shot off a stick. Off D'Angelo wide. Now it goes deep. Mason Appleton. In his first game back from injury. Out of the corner. Seattle's McCann. Out in front by Tanev. Creeping in. Jamie Oleksiak. Off the stick of Niederreiter. A penalty is called down low against Carolina. So Jacob Slavin will record his fifth and sixth minutes on a holding call for a player who had one minor penalty as a defenseman all of last season. That's pretty impressive. One minor penalty, but you see Tanev going to the net. He gets his stick wrapped in there and his arm wrapped around him to stop him from getting the puck. Good call from the officials. Off the draw, Giordano moves to the cross. Johansson fumbles at Jordan Stahl, shorthanded. Second power play, Seattle. Stahl in the zone with a shot, stopped by Grubauer without rebound. So we talked about it in the first period. And Seattle now spiking on the power play. What have you been seeing with it? That's been simple. They've been getting pucks to the net, shooting. And it's not always the, the cute play, the one that's going to be, you know, a top 10 type play to the back door for a tap in. Sometimes you just have to shoot to get the penalty kill moving. And to be fair, brand new group. This is only game number 19 in the history of this team. Giordano sends it back. Everly to the outside. Johansson, he'll creep in. Giordano at the point. Around the clock they go. McCann down low. Johansson looking for Donskoy. It's tipped but not out. Giordano traps it. A shot taken off the pad of Anderson. Partial tip out in front. Wenberg looking for Donskoy. Broken up. Carolina two on one shorthanded. Ajo delays. Fumbles a pass. Cut off by Giordano. And Seattle now will change. Partially just about four minutes gone in the second period. That much time in the power play as the captain looks it over. They'll start the breakout. Giordano, Geeky, Gord, McCann, Schwartz on the ice for Seattle. Here comes Schwartz, supported by Gord. Little saucer pass, he gets it back from Dunn. Johnny Gord, Vince Dunn. This way, McCann, his shot right off the post. No, it's in, it sneaks in. Seen this look from Seattle and McCann on his offside flank takes a nice slap shot. Beats, looks like it beats Freddie Anderson's short side. It goes in and out super quick. In, out. Ref is right there to be able to see it. Right under the blocker. Hits the back pad and bounces out right away. But a timely goal to tie this game up. And it bounced out sideways in a hurry off the pad. Saw Schwartz looked right at the referee. It was in a great spot. Corey Savret, Ian Walsh are the referees tonight. Kraken pick up another power play goal. Level off this game. Kokaniemi for Carolina. To the wall, Tanev racing back. Fumbled by D'Angelo and back out. Slavin shoves it in. Adam Larson in control. Paired on defense with Jeremy Lausanne, who has it. He'll move it off Tanev. Captured by Natchez and back up Cook and Yemi. Lausanne back in his own territory. Read by Natchez. The hope play doesn't work. Cook and Yemi for Carolina. Now Natchez gets it back. Reorganizes D'Angelo. A shot headed down Grubauer. The rebound. He'll hang on to it. Philip Grubauer holding his ground. A really good save from Grubauer. These are tough to do. It's a tip puck from the slot, changes direction, is able to get that right pad on it. Able to stop the second attempt as well from Nino. Niederreiter right out in front.
standing tall at the top of the crease. Really good save. Those ones in the high slot when they're deflected like that can be tough on a goalie when they change direction from that far. EQC scoring summary. McCann is eighth goal of the season from Dunn and Gord. McCann now has five goals on the power play. Johnny Gord and Jesper Faust in the circle. Possession to Seattle. Oleksiak will dump it back for Giordano. Indirect pass chipped in the zone by Yarn Croak. A handle in the trapezoid for Anderson. Wedged by Shea. Not out. Ward off stall. Separated from the puck by Faust. Scrum in the corner. Faust will move it around. Pinching down Giordano. Covering a forward at the point. It's Yarn Croak. Off a stick off Svechnikov. Collected by Seattle's Yanni Gord. Jaden Schwartz out of the corner, protecting the puck, shielding his man, Brady Shea, stopping and starting a couple of times. He'll take it back, wind it off the boards for Gore. He'll move it deeper for Yarn Croak. Good possession time for Seattle. Moving in is Schwartz out in front, nobody home. Svechnikov for Carolina, back out. Crisscrossing with Jordan Stahl, who has it. The Kane captain, moving in on Alexiak. He'll try the far side out in front, off Grubauer. Faust again, right through the blue. Creeping in this time for the Hurricanes is Ian Cole. He'll clear it in. Anderson on a tee, Brendan Smith. Shouldered by Geeky. A turnover! Donskoy gets it back. What a dangle by Blackwell off a body stop by Anderson. It went off Brendan Smith. What a sequence there. Now Ajo for Carolina. Broken up by Colin Blackwell. Tough on it. Here comes Geeky. Given a rough ride by Brendan Smith. Donskoy says hello. They go to the corner. It's still available. Seth Jarvis is there for Carolina. Brendan Smith. Finds open space, maybe. Cut off by the forechecking of Blackwell. Given a rough ride. Smith taken down in a hard way by Geeky. Now Dunn moves it across for Larson. Looking for a tip stop by Anderson. Here's the rebound. It's Dunn. He'll circle away from the pack. He's pestered by Ajo. He stays with it. Vince Dunn. Colin Blackwell, a shot to a screen. Stopped. It's available and covered by Frederick Anderson. Great pressure by Seattle. After Jared McCann does it again on the power play. Here it is. Bang. And the Kraken, a man up. Tie the game at one. Here is tonight's Northwest Chevy Silverado drive to the net. It's going to be the Jared McCann power play goal. He's able to get that shot speed at 88 miles an hour to beat Freddie Anderson. And it's that quick shot. It's not a full back scratching one-timer or slap shot in this case. He just does a little quick one half, pulls it back a little bit, is able to get it off. It wasn't all about as hard as he can, but getting it in the right placement. He has that in his back pocket. He's gone to it time and time again. Vince Dunn gets the only assist on the power play strike. The goal comes at 4-16 here in the second period. Tie game at one. This is Tanev. Brandon Tanev pulls up. Giordano a shot. Tipped right on. Anderson said no. Now Giordano moved across. Broken stick. Alexiak. The back of the goal. McCann out in front. Panned on by Appleton. It comes all the way down to Philip Grubauer. Seattle. Re establishing the breakout. Just about eight minutes gone in the second period. John and JT. Final game of six straight at home for Seattle. Cross corner dump in Joe Hansen. Pesci moves it. Vincent Trocek will spin it off the boards, dump it all the way down. Icing is called here. Seattle's been getting some good looks and some good chances since that power play goal. They had a shift here. Appleton gets to the front of the net, tips it down right into the pad of Freddie Anderson. Able to get the rebound as well, but it's getting to the front of the net, getting those shots on. You got to be able to try to take away Freddie Anderson's eyes. Now 
Now it's moved all the way around out the center. Larson in a battle in front of that Seattle bench. 11.45 left in the second period. Lozon off a stick. Eberly moved across. Marcus Johansson defensively marked by Stephen Lawrence. He'll pop it out. Trocek sealed off. Good check by Lozon. Natchez off the stick of Johansson and back out. Shea this way for Pesci. Brett Pesci now slams it all the way around. Natchez let it go smartly. Cook and Niemi out of the corner. A tough angle was off the stick of Adam Larson and it goes out of play. Gear up with the crack in this holiday season. Spend $100 on Black Friday at one of the participating team stores to get a one-of-a-kind limited edition Kraken poster. Each team store location will have a different design. Learn more at NHL.com slash Kraken slash fans slash store. That's two for slashing. It's a lot of slashing. Back, no backslash too complicated. Off the draw. Smith with a shot off a body off Natchez. Available. Geeky is on it. They have added an assist to Yanni Gord on the McCann goal. So it reads McCann from Dunn and Gord. Now it's dumped in. Alexiak flushed out a bit by Marty Natchez. Colin Blackwell will get it out to center. It's Ian Cole. Played his college hockey at Notre Dame. Now Niederreiter steps in. He'll rim it. Top of your screen, wedged by Geeky, held in by Smith. The late offside against Carolina, they tag up as we approach the halfway mark at Climate Pledge Arena. And a one all standoff through center, dumped in, icing against the crack and a face off in their zone. Seattle has trailed in four of their five wins this season. Did not trail at all against Montreal. Take a look at some out-of-town scores. Busy night as always, night before Turkey Day. Svechnikov off the draw wide. At the point, Slavin in exchange with Svechnikov. D'Angelo, Reddies. Jacob Slavin off the boards. A wrist shot through traffic, blocked in front. Friendly fire off Foss. Geeky out of the corner is hounded. Jesper Foss is on him. Good puck battle, won by Svechnikov. Here's Tony D'Angelo, penalty against Seattle. Long change for Anderson. Six out. Little wedge by Stahl. Knocked down possession to Seattle. It's a hooking call with 10.09 left in the second period. Seattle, 67, minor penalty hooking. It's a big penalty kill for Seattle. They have their work cut out for them against this power play that Carolina has right now. It's been, it's been hot. It has. They're number eight overall, number seven on the road. We'll see it here, JT. Gets his stick in there. Svechnikov goes down a little bit easy, but when you have your stick in that position, it makes it an easy call for the reps to make that call. It's the right call. It's the right call. You could argue he went down early, but if your stick's not there, then there's going to be no call. Since it is, you get the call. Trocek took the only penalty in the first period for Carolina. The Canes are two out of nine in the last five with their power play. That was red hot at the start of the season. The Kraken have killed off 9 of 11 in the same time period. They are 18th on the kill and 16th at home. D'Angelo slingshots it back. Vincent Trocek through the center zone. Clean entry. This is Table Terrifying. Circling back, D'Angelo moving Svechnikov off the pad of Grubauer. D'Angelo gets to it. Moved along. Table Terrifying and D'Angelo calling for it. Svechnikov held in nicely by Tony D'Angelo. A wrist shot stop, no rebound. Given up by Grubauer. Good job to the start of Seattle's penalty kill. If you're going to give up a shot, that's one you're going to do at the corner of the blue line. And it's just a wrist shot. Those are the ones that you'd like to give up. You don't want to give up those cross seams, one-timers, and other shots like that. That is one that they'll be happy to give up. Grubauer will be looking at a group that includes Trocek, Aho, Terrafinen, D'Angelo, and Svechnikov. Svechnikov right in, stopped by Grubauer. Trocek and now D'Angelo. Tavo Terrafinen to the goal line. Aho off the side of the goal, he gets it back. Tavo Terrafinen for Tony D'Angelo. He'll survey. 
from the half board. Terrifying and popping out Trocek. D'Angelo, Svechnikov. Beautiful pass, but it goes right off the stick of Terrifying. Ambling out to center, shorthanded is Alex Wenberg. He'll gain the zone, kill some time, and move it in. Tony D'Angelo, 53 seconds on the Carolina power play. Through the center zone, Svechnikov clears it around, Terrifying. Larson at back of the goal, Svechnikov, here's Terrifying. what a save! Grubauer exploding across, Tavo Terrifying. Looking for his 100th NHL goal, now it's moved along. Aho, Svechnikov, Terrifying, they can't connect the dots. Good cutoff that time by Lozon. Now Svechnikov, holding onto it. Trocek in back of the goal, hounded a bit by Lausanne. 12 seconds on the power play, Aho broken up. Donskoy's lost his stick. Getting to it is Svechnikov, and now Aho. Side of the goal, Trocek a power move off the pad of Grubauer. Who's the best killer again? Terabinen, Svechnikov just wide, Terabinen well wide. And it goes out of play. And the Kraken, and Philip Grubauer will take a much needed breath. Take a look right off the faceoff. Trocek dies around, is able to get the puck to the middle. Svechnikov in a great eight location. And here's the one-timer with Grubauer sliding across, able to power over and stop that one-timer. We're going to step aside and do some business. Philip Grubauer handles all of that. Stick around. Bracket Hockey is brought to you by McDonald's McDelivery. Never miss the on-ice action with McDelivery. Download the McDonald's app to start your order now. And by Virginia Mason Franciscan Health, the official medical care provider of your Seattle Kraken. Beautiful look here in Seattle Center. The Climate Pledge Arena on the horizon. It's just underneath the Space Needle. John and JT back with you. 5 left in the second, deadlocked at 1. Brendan Smith for Carolina, power play goal for Seattle's Jared McCann. Brett Pesci off the side of the goal. Maybe Grubauer got a piece of it. Now Yanni Gore. Rethinks it back for Mark Giordano. Stolen by Natchez. Marty Natchez drags it. He's hounded by Schwartz, who broke it up nicely. To the corner it goes Natchez, held in by Pesci. Kokaniemi, off a of body, off Gord. Niederreiter taken down in a hard way by Oleksiak. Gord gave it away to Martin Natchez. Kokaniemi sends it back. Pesci, a shot patted down by Grubauer. Brett Pesci traps the zone for Carolina. Kokaniemi, shade the outside. Natchez off Grubauer a couple of times. Niederreiter right on the doorstep. And a scramble and some chaos as you see. Him back with a goal. I feel like tempers settle down a little bit when you get back up and realize who's standing in front of you. Grubauer with a couple of saves in this sequence. First, the one timer from Pesci, able to make a good save. And right there in front, you get a second attempt from Niederreier. That is where the second hit, both of them kind of throw a little body check on him. Niederreiter a little bit upset getting up. Sebastian Ajo wins the draw. Brendan Smith blocked by the humanity in front. Wenberg, one of those. That's unattainable for Jordan Eberle. Ian Cole moves it all the way around. Done a pinch on Ajo. Here come the Hurricanes. Jarvis through center, broken up by Carson Soucy. Wenberg gets it away from Brendan Smith. He'll wrist it in. Frederick Anderson out to get it. Ian Cole moves it. Down to the point. Soucy off the boards. All the way around, Seth Jarvis. The rookie is with Carolina to stay for this season now. And as he's played 10 games, they cannot send him back to the Western Hockey League. It's gloved down by Sebastian Ajo. Away from Everly. Aho from the wall, back for Cole. Here it comes off a stick. Grubauer never saw it. Choked off by Everly up top, and it goes out of play. 
Get 10% off purchases at any Kraken team store when you join the Depths, our official membership program. Don't miss the great benefits like exclusive events, priority ticket access, gifts, and more. Go to KrakenMembership.com to join today. Speaking of the WHL, Everett with a one nothing lead over Tri-City in the second period. Buck was cleared in. Out of the corner, Mason Appleton, who's played well in his first game back from injury. Goes on. No tip for McCann. Moving in, Larson, ridden off it by Stahl. Mason Appleton back on it for Seattle. Just over 14 minutes gone in the second period. John and JT with you as always. Goes on. With a shot, pawed down and hung on to by Frederick Anderson. 5.52 left in the second period here in downtown Seattle. This game is tied at one. Well, we have a Pacific Northwest connection tonight. Rookie Seth Jarvis, 19 years of age. Carolina's a great team. They also draft extremely well. This guy was selected 13th overall in 2020. Great career, JT, with the Portland Winter Hawks. And it's just starting right now in the NHL. He's had a good start to this season. He's on a four-game point streak with three goals and one assist during that time. Already has six points on his 10-game season so far. And when you get a chance to play with Sebastian Ajo and you're 19, it's okay. It's not a bad player to play with. But the point is you have to be good enough to play with great players, right? You got to be able to keep up. That's not an automatic. Now, Blackwell, stinging bid off shades, hurt. Blackwell's shot turned out. And he's taken down in the corner that time by Stephen Lawrence. This is Vincent Trocek for Carolina. Converged on by three. The last guy to get him was Oleksiak, who's been real physical again here tonight. Geeky for Blackwell. Through the middle, cut off. Broken up in front that time by Tony D'Angelo. He'll sail it out. Oleksiak is paired on defense with Mark Giordano. Goes by Yanni Gord. Travels all the way down for icing. A face-off in the Kraken zone. And part of that physicality from the defensive end is why Seattle's been playing so well and keeping Carolina to the outside, pinching off cycles early, gapping up, making sure that you don't give these highly skilled players time and space. Yanni Gord and Jesperi Kokaniemi on this face-off. He was signed to an offer sheet by Carolina. The annual salary for that player exceeds six million. Now Natchez coming all the way back. Kokaniemi was drafted right behind Svechnikov from Montreal. Niederreiter by Natchez down in front. D'Angelo moving it by Kokaniemi off the referee. Picked up by Yanni Gord. He'll get it out. Here's Jacob Slavin for the Hurricanes. Chipped ahead by Niederreiter, cut off by Larson. Here comes Gord over the line in the zone to the outside. He pulls up, forced by Slavin. Niederreiter lends a helping hand. Slavin, a good pass for Tony D'Angelo. Carolina back out. Natchez, D'Angelo, let it go. Kokaniemi back for D'Angelo off a stick. He was taken care of by Larson and the Kraken. Lay it back out to center. 420 left in the second period. Brendan Smith and Jared McCann have traded goals in this one. First of two meetings. Seattle and Raleigh on March the 6th. Smith from well out, no problem for Grubauer. Brady Shea left to the locker room. You see the puck ramp right off the stick into the teeth, mouth area of Shea. That one definitely does not feel good. Unintentional. It goes off the stick, just trying to fire it through. He's in the Carolina room. Cole shot right on, denied by Grubauer, right off the faceoff. Carolina's won 26 draws tonight. Seattle 12. Right off the faceoff. Grubauer with nobody standing in front of him, one that he can see. And those are the saves as a goalie you love to have. Nobody standing in front of you. You don't have to fight through a screen. Mark Nook on his power side after Ajo was given the boot. Seattle in possession. Wenberg. Marcus Johansson moves it by Cole. Wenberg off a stick off Smith. Eberly 
Back checking is Jarvis. Johansson, he'll dangle. Trade places with Everly. Now with Susi. Carson Susi centers across. Good back check by Seth Jarvis. In the right place for Carolina. Now it's cleared in. Martin Hook on Dunn. Two four checkers for the Hurricanes. This is Alex Wenberg. He'll pull up. Martin Hook entangling with Dunn in back of the play. Wenberg sails it off the glass. Stick side of Frederick Anderson. Everly to the corner. Wenberg lays it for Tanev. Brandon Tanev low to high. Giordano. He'll wheel a shot off a body off Slavin. Seth Jarvis takes a hit, makes a play. He was really given a rough ride by Brandon Tanev, and now Everly in control. Just about 17 minutes gone in the second period. McCann, nobody home out in front. Fost off the boards and out. Alexiak, Jesper Fost, Sveshnikov. Powers in. Goes by Stahl. Now Pesci with a shot blocked by Giordano. Pesci to the corner, helped out by Jordan Stahl. Back of the goal. Moved along by the Hurricanes. Slavin from a tough angle wide. And now Pesci forces the play again. Appleton. Good pinch by Slavin. Carolina's D. Very active as always. And now out of the corner. Appleton. Broken up. Stahl. Sets up Slavin. This way it's Brett Pesci. He'll rim it. All the way around again, Slavin wedged out of the zone by McCann. A change for Seattle, a change for Carolina. 2-12 left, period two. This is Jordan Stahl moving up for a shot, sealed off by Grubauer. Colin Blackwell's fresh in a change. He's bumped by Stahl. Giordano out of the corner. D'Angelo, geeky in a puck battle. It was by Lawrence. Carried in by Donskoy. He's got Blackwell in front. Cut off by Tony D'Angelo right out of midair. He'll send it down for Isil. Nice little bit of hand-eye coordination from D'Angelo. You had the pass from Donsko going to Geeky in front of the, or not Geeky, excuse me. It was going towards Blackwall in front of the net. They will knock it down. Ices the puck, gets it out of harm's way. But you had a look going in with Donsko and Blackwell trying to get that first goal of this period. Carolina 15 shots in the period. Seattle 9. A buck 42 left in it. This is Teravainen. Lead pass for Stephen Lawrence. Sealed off by Larson. Available puck. Lawrence turns. Tries to use that big frame. He paws it down again. Geeky golfs it. Now to neutralize. Ian Cole. Coming back to it. Through center, guarded by Blackwell. Lawrence at the line, denied. Terrifying in for Trocek. He'll play it deep in back of Grubauer. 70 seconds left in the second. Seattle can't get it out. Here's Pesci. Moved along to the wall. Lawrence, Terrifying in, and now Pesci. Looking for a tip, none available. It goes by Lawrence. Let go for Terrifying. Trocek. Given a shelf by Larson. Gord comes back. 53 seconds left in the period. Lausanne stumbles. But he gets it out. Winding back in a change, forgetting the puck for a moment was Natchez. He'll send it back. 39 seconds left in the second. Seattle careful on the change. Susie off the boards. Here's Yarncroke. He'll spin it in on Anderson. He'll move it around. Need a rider back out. Done D to D with Carson Susi off the boards, wedged in by Gord. 20 seconds left in the period. Gord, a great job on Smith. This is Jordan Everly to the corner, off a stick, loose to the wall, creeping in is done. 10 seconds left in the period. Everly off a body, defended by Niederreiter. It's loose. Kokaniemi, aerial flip out to center ice. Three seconds left in the period. 40 minutes complete. Stay connected for Kraken Intermission, presented by Verizon. That comes your way next. Jared McCann on the short side of Freddie Anderson on the power play again. Solid hockey game tonight against the league's best team record-wise. And after 40 minutes of play in downtown Seattle, it's the Kraken one, the Hurricanes one.
and intermission is presented to you by Verizon. 5G build right. That walk to the 10 to lap of the second period, a bit more enjoyable than the walk after the first period when the Kraken trailed the Hurricanes 1-0. We are now 1-1 through two periods of play here at Climate Pledge Arena with Allison Lucan. I'm Tom Glasgow. Uh, five seems to be the number of the second period, <laughs> as in five straight games now. The Kraken have scored on a power play goal. Five straight games in which the first goal of the game came off a power play, and that goal you're about to see by Jared McCann, his fifth power play goal of the season. You're the stats person, Tom. I'm out. That's it. I'm Welcome. empty. It's all yours now. <laughs> it, it was impressive yeah. to, to see that. part. We talked about it in the pregame mm -hmm. show. They have found their rhythm and this is what you do when you have confidence. Yeah. You just, everything happens a little easier. Things keep working and they needed that goal. That was yeah. not one of their strongest second periods. Let's take a look at how this went down. Originally, the power play was struggling a little bit more than I think the Kraken wanted. Carolina gets a breakaway chance here. Giordano is challenged by that two on one rush. We talked about those in the pregame show. That's a really difficult shot. Giordano breaks it up, keeps the score even, and then down comes the Kraken. They set up in their formation. Dave Haxtell talked about this. Now watch. They've got their formation. They can move the puck right across the top of the umbrella, as we like to say, across those top three skaters. Setting up Jared McCann, he's playing on his offside, his strong side for the shot on the power play. He's got Schwartz in front for the screen. What a finish. That is just some perfect puck placement to even the score and get your rule of fives that you set up for us, yeah. Tom. And that was perfect work done as well by everybody involved with our Emerald Queen Casino Tracer. Uh, really great to see how that all unfolded. When we come back, we're going to talk Philip Grubauer because he was outstanding. He faced a lot of pressure in that second period, but he delivered. Oh, and they're delivering tonight as well at the team store here at Climate Pledge Arena. That place is up and heading into the holidays. More Kraken intermission just ahead on Root Sports. Kraken intermission is presented to you by Verizon. 5G build right. Kraken fans inside the Climate Pledge Arena as we are 20 minutes away. Maybe a little bonus time thrown in. We shall see. Uh, thanks to giving Eve as a six-game homestand wraps up this evening here in Seattle with Allison. I'm Tom. All right, let's, uh, let's talk some Seattle defense in that second period, specifically in the form of one Philip Grubauer faced 16 shots in the second period after facing nine in the first. He was outstanding. He was locked in. Yeah. Not only was it that many shots, it was 27 total shot attempts. 27 pucks sent his way in that middle frame. And he was dialed in. He was turning away every kind of chance that was sent towards him, with or without protection sometimes. And I thought the penalty kill here, that when Carolina had the power play, and they are strong there, Seattle was completely saved by Philip Grubauer. Those last two saves we just saw, incredible. Look at the volume of what he worked against here in this shot map. So much right in front of the net. He was calm. He was composed. He didn't let up a lot of rebounds. He's on top of his game right yeah. now. This is a really good sign for this team to see the play that we saw last game continuing on to these next 40 minutes. All right. And let's see if he can do it for the final 20 minutes. That's right. We'll see if the Kraken can put it away in the third period. Stick around when we come back. Jen Mueller, a conversation with a goal scorer for the Kraken in period number two, Jared McCann. And I don't know. I don't know what the score is here, but the, the competition intense, I think, between... <laughs> Those two young fans stick around. More crack and intermission just to add on Root Sports. Welcome back to Crack and Intermission presented by Verizon. Certainly like the lights outside the holiday season. I don't put mine up until after Thanksgiving, but I do appreciate the effort and I appreciate the effort by the crack and two in that second period. The game is tied at one. The power play strikes again for the Kraken. Welcome up to the Ford Sports Desk. Brad, Adam with you. That's five straight games with a power play goal. And how about Jared McCann? Five power play goals himself. Now tied for third 
in the league with those five power play goals. It's goal number eight overall for him, and he gets to talk about that and that really good second period with Jen Mueller. Well, it looked like you introduced maybe a little bit of an element of surprise on your goal with that quick shot. Why was that the approach? Shorts, he had a good screen. I saw him go in front of the goalie's eyes there, and I just tried to deliver it at the net. When we talked to Jamie after the first period, he said you got to affect his eyes. you got to get guys in front of the net. Are you guys doing those things well enough? Yeah, we're doing a better job of it, I think, and um, we just keep going here. We should be fine. This is the fifth straight game with a power play goal. What is the level of confidence this team has now in being able to convert those opportunities? It's been good. You know, it gives, uh, gives the entire team uh, some confidence here, and um, we, uh, we feel like we still have a lot better to give here, but, uh, you know, next period. Carolina has gotten a lot of shots on goal. Gruby has made some outstanding saves. How would you rate the quality of shots, though, that Carolina's getting? A lot of point shots. Uh, we got to do a better job of getting in those lanes and, and uh, maybe block a couple for them. All right. Well, good luck in the third. Thank you. Jen and Jared, thank you. Hashtag where I root tonight. Ryan will go and crack it. We're going to rock them like a hurricane with apologies to the Scorpions, of course. Send your pictures in. We'll get them on the air. Snow Joe, how about this one? Let's go, boys, Hurricanes and crack, and happy Fansgiving. I like that. That's the thing. You got a game before Thanksgiving, it's a Fansgiving. Catherine sends this one in from Spokane, Section 107, Road B for tonight's game. I know where I'm going. Go say hi to Catherine a little bit later on in this one. We'll keep them coming with Martina. Dad and I got matching tattoos the other day. We can always remember hashtag where I root crack, and that is dedication. That is impressive. I think we need to challenge some of the guys. Maybe John, JT, Tom, I don't know. Hey, from Miguel Moore, Seattle Kraken Games from the other side of the world. Chili to be specific. Hashtag where I root. Hashtag C Kraken. Love those pictures. Keep them coming. We'll try to get them on the air tonight. Look now at your second period. McDelivery Super Bowl moments. And yeah, Philip Grubauer, he was busy that second period. Look at the stick check there. He stopped 16 pucks. Oleksiak will stop anybody in their tracks at 6-7. Jamie getting it down. Another big hit for the Kraken. And there it is. If you blink, you'll miss it. In and out. Jared McCann, number eight for him. Ties at one. We got 20 minutes to go. Third period coming up. Kraken Hockey is brought to you by Emerald Queen Casino. Emerald Queen Casino is giving away two tickets plus $5,000 for the big game. Visit the EQC mobile app for more. It feels like we got a pretty big period uh, coming up. Period number three with the Kraken and the Canes tied at one as we send it upstairs to John Forslund and J.T. Brown. Tell us. Okay, Tom, thanks very much. Well, partner, it's closing time, right? So what do the Kraken have to do to seal this one tonight? they got to do a lot of the same things they've been doing. They've worked hard for 40 minutes in this game to get it to a tie game. All you have to do is win a period to win a game. they got to continue to get traffic in front of Freddie Anderson, stay on the forecheck. But on the defensive side, you got to be aware because this team can counter. All right, let's check out some numbers made easy. Sponsored by Geico. So the majority of the shots, scoring chances, favored Carolina, especially in the second period. But it was the kill. 0 for 1. Carolina on the power play. And it was Philip Grubauer, JT, who was center stage. Wafet Bank saves of the game. Grubauer has been excellent in his last two starts, looking very collective, calm in the blue paint, fighting through screens, being able to find those second chance opportunities. Another one right there, smothering up all the rebounds. You have a good hard slap shot right off a face off in front, not giving up a rebound at all. He's going to need to be on his best again here in the third period. Coming off a stellar game against Washington, his former team on Sunday. Snoqualmie so Casino opening face-off of the third period. Deadlocked at one. The Kraken will be in Tampa Bay against the back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions on Friday. We kick off our coverage. Kraken pregame presented by Coors Light at 3.30. Kelly Arncro will scale it in. Tony D'Angelo moves it. Yanni Gord reads it for Seattle. Right through the blue. Schwartz at the point. Jamie Oleksiak. Out of the reach of Gord. Injured in front. Seattle's Kelly Yarncroke. Carolina back the other way. Slavin right in. It goes high. And maybe Grubauer got a piece of it. It's 
Svechnikov can't locate the puck out of the corner. Stahl kicks it right to Yanni Gord. Jordan Everly walks it out to center. Seattle is changing. No friends for him to pass to. He takes it deep. He's shadowed. Defended by Brady Shea. Out to center ice. Carolina's Ajo. Right in for a shot. There by Grubauer. Really good chances for Carolina early in this third period. This last one on Ajo is going to make a really good glove save. Quick shot. Puts it in the right position. Grubauer's up to the task, though. Ajo, Martinook, and Jarvis stay out for Carolina. Johansson comes in the circle for Seattle. Marcus loses the draw. Shea at the point. A shot off the paddle of Grubauer. Seth Jarvis, a handoff for Jordan Martinook. He's checked by Lausanne. Johansson for Alex Wenberg on and off his stick. Seth Jarvis will dump it in. Grubauer out to get it. He'll move it. Lausanne under duress, broken up momentarily by Ajo, wedged out of the zone by Marcus Johansson. Seth Jarvis. The rookie sends it in all the way around, awaiting his Ajo, checked by Jeremy Lozon. Out to center, Everly, supported by Wenberg. Broken up by Carolina's Pesci. Back out to center, that's a hand pass, and that'll stop play. Gonna take a look at this injury here in front of the net. Yarncroke gets a little bit of a cross check there and then looks like Stahl falls on top of him. He's left the ice, gone to the locker room. We'll keep an eye on that one. McCann, who has Seattle's goal, scored in the power play. The Kraken now a power play goals in five straight games. Out to center, Vince Dunn. Moves it up ice. Moved in by Tanev, who took a spill. The penalty will be called here against Carolina with 18.05 left in regulation time. Carolina number seven, two minutes, okay. Seattle's going back to the power play because of this penalty. You see Brennan Smith gets his stick in tight on Tanev, draws him down. He's going to get a hooking penalty, go to the box. Good opportunity again here for Seattle on the power play to take the lead. Power play number three, they are one for two. Wenberg, Donskoy, Everly, Johansson, and Giordano for Seattle. Stahl straight away, kills time. Quartet of killers for Carolina. Vincent Trocek, Jordan Stahl, Jacob Slavin, and Ian Cole. Wenberg, Giordano. Give back by Don Skoy. You're looking at Jordan Everly. Clean entry, Marcus Johansson. All the way around for Alex Wenberg. He'll snap it. Johansson, Everly in front. What a stop by Anderson. Jonas Don Skoy in the garden spot. Anderson's best. Out to center now. Short-handed, come the Hurricanes. Drawn back, reset by Ian Cole, a penalty upcoming against Seattle. Anderson's on the bench. Just about three minutes gone in this third period. Carolina now will sort it out. Brady Shea flushed out a bit by Morgan Geeky. Pesci sends it back in his own territory. Brady Shea again for Pesci out of that corner. Shea, Ajo, he'll skate it out, shift on McCann, move it across. Seattle in possession, that'll stop play. Good look for Donskoy in front on the power play. Everly right all alone sends it to Donskoy. 
And here we're going to take a look at the penalty. It's going to be Donskoy holding up Stahl as he's trying to get up the ice. You see him grab onto the stick. Doesn't allow him to get up the ice and join the rush. It creates a four on four for 43 seconds. Carolina's yet to score a four on four goal. Seattle has two. They've given up one. Under this circumstance, 16.39 left, regulation time. Tied at one, here comes Tanev with a step on stall. He'll take it in, Seth Jarvis takes it away. He'll get to it. Good play by the rookie, Pesci. Brady Shea, moving up, Susi. Pesci, in control. Defended by Seattle's Vince Dunn. He gets to the puck. Tanev survives it, gets it out, Dunn. Seattle's changing. He'll rethink it back. Dunn's taken down. They play on. Brendan Smith out of the box for Carolina. Turnover. Here come the Hurricanes. This is D'Angelo. Now Vincent Trocek finds the handle. Moves in on Larson. Then it's greeted there by Gord. It comes out. Carolina to the power play for the next 60 seconds. Tony D'Angelo. He's their quarterback. He'll accelerate out away from Gord and drop it back for Trocek at his side, Sebastian Ajo. He'll defer to the outside for Terravine, and Ajo is in early. It's offside. A little bit too quick, but I think it's good to point out here, they have an extended power play because they dragged the puck for so long. They were playing keep away when the penalty was delayed so that they would be able to have more time on the power play. Johnny Gord crossing sticks with Trocek. Now Grubauer, Lausanne, held in by Vinny Trocek. Darapainen, Svechnikov, out in front off a stick, deflected out of play. 40 seconds left on the manpower advantage. A good chance out in front. He gets Svechnikov in a position where he can shoot it. He elects to pass right in front to Ajo, standing on the back post. Just tips it up a little bit too high. Face-off win by Wenberg. Larson, Tanev creeping in, Terravainen. Brandon Tanev kills time. Seattle still looking for their first shorthanded goal in their history. Now it's carried out by Tony D'Angelo. 20 seconds on the power play. Tavo Terapainen moves in on Tanev. Now lows on. D'Angelo, great pass for Trocek off a stick. Off the side of the goal. Jeremy Lausanne clears it on a deflection out of play. 11 seconds left on the crack and kill. You get a good stick here by Tanev to deflect this pass. Right here, Trocek's in a great shooting position. Stick in the lane, is able to block the puck, so it's not allowed to go in on Grubauer. Key face-off for Seattle's Yanni Gord. Take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard. D'Angelo this way, Slavin right in, a shot sizzles high. Stays in play, D'Angelo hammers one blocked in front. Giordano, with desperation, he gets it out. Donskoy's released. Crack and kill it off. 14.43 left in regulation time. Tied at one. Jacob Slavin moves it all the way in. Natchez goes by the stick of Nino Niederreiter. The Kraken through center. No icing here. Frederick Anderson leaves it for Brady Shea. Both teams are changing. Shots 28, Carolina. 17, Seattle. Good look at Brady Shea. Pesci. Through the center zone, Nita Ryder moves it by Susi. Natchez turns it over to Mason Appleton. Look out, Kokaniemi out in front. It's available off Grubauer. He'll smother. A close opportunity right here. It goes off Susi's stick right out in front. Tries to pass it instead of taking the shot right in front. Blocked by Dunn in the skates. Grubauer is able to stop the puck right there in front of the net. Get a glove on it. Stop play. A close opportunity. Those are ones that right off the stick right onto Carolina. If they would have shot, you probably would have had a better opportunity there. Susie will dump it out. Under six left. 
in this third period. Stall, Fast, Dangles, broken up. Seattle gets to it. Jordan Everly looks around, floats it ahead. Brett Pesci. E to D passing with Brady Shea. Along the wall, cut off by Everly. Here come the Kraken. Everly busting in, moving in on Shea. Off the side of the goal. He gets it back. Out in front, nobody home. Svechnikov back checking for the Hurricanes. He'll clear it out. Left there by Faust. Now Marcus Johansson. Adam Larson has time in his own zone. Moved along for Jeremy Lozon. He gave it away to Ajo. Trouble brewing here. Sebastian Ajo moves it across for Jarvis. Stopped by Grubauer a couple of times. He got a toe on the bid by Martinuk. And Seattle survives. What a save right there. You're going to have to mark that one down. I did. Now Martinuk right in. Shut down again. Six left in this third period. Oh, Larceny by 31. Stretching out fully on Martinuk. Then this opportunity denied again by Grubauer. Rod Brindamore runs a team that has a quick strike offensive attack, and they're showing it. They were able to catch Seattle in transition here, playing fast. A little bit of a line change. Martinuk gets a nice feed from Ajo, goes in alone on Grubauer, tries to get it underneath the blocker of Grubauer's arm. It's a little bit too much of the midsection, and Grubauer is able to make the save. He's off wins Seattle. John and JT here at Climate Pledge Arena. Closing out a six-game homestand. Seattle and Tampa Bay Friday, Florida Saturday. Crack and dump it all the way back down. Brendan Smith wins the race to the circle dot. Icing is called against Seattle. Wafed Bank. Save of the game. We saw that earlier from Philip Grubauer. Just going to hold it there. See the shot differential in this third period. 7-1 Carolina. The one shot by the Kraken was that bid by Donskoy. A sensational save by Freddie Anderson. Here's Donskoy on cue. Giordano in the zone. Hammers one. Shielded by Anderson to the corner. Slavin turned over. Giordano moves it along the boards. Gathered in by Gord. He'll cycle out. Jonas Donskoy to the wall. Tries to get away from Niederreiter. It's picked off by Slavin. Jacob Slavin through center. Threads it down in the Seattle zone for icing. Washington College savings plans. Get and dream ahead. The Get Program and Dream Ahead College Investment Plan can help you get your kids ready for wherever their dreams take them. Learn how at wastate529.wa.gov. 12-11 left. Regulation time. Slavin off the window. Need a rider for Carolina. Rejected. Good play by Dunn. Here's Brandon Tanner. Indirect pass finding Mason Appleton. It's checked by Smith. Hole. Moves it to the wall, cut off by Tanev all the way around. He'll try this side. Brendan Smith has Carolina's goal scored in the first period. Jared McCann in the second period on the power play for the Kraken. Encumbering pass Susie to Appleton to flex in. Smith as it's touched up. Whistle dead on entry. 11.38 left in this third period. Yeah, Tanev's telling me he didn't hear that it was offside. The puck went in and over really quickly. He wasn't able to get back in time. Obviously, you don't want to lay a hit when there's a, a delayed offside. Just making sure, you know, that Brennan Smith and everybody else on the Kings knew that. Face-off will come outside the blue line because of all of that. Tanev will get a break. Wenberg, Eberle, and Johansson for Seattle with Larson and Lozon back. Jordan Eberle off the blocker. Easy save for Anderson. Now Jarvis 
Taken down by Jeremy Lausanne. Aho picks it up. Saucers back for Pesci. His shot stopped by Grubauer. No rebound. And a face off in the Seattle zone. Aho did a good job cutting off the play on the wall. Is able to find Pesci up top. You got two Carolina bodies standing in front of Grubauer. He's able to fight that one off, find the puck, and make the save. Natchez will take this face off for the Hurricanes, opposed by Alex Wenberg. Stephen Lawrence, 78 in the white sweater. Now Lausanne, hounded by Kukaniemi. Johansson, Eberly. From the red line, he'll go off on a change. Frederick Anderson, swooping back. Good luck there at Martin Natchez. Indirect pass, finding Lawrence at the line. He'll dump it in. Giordano coming back. Reverses for Colin Blackwell. Four checked by Natchez. Right through the goal crease. As he wiped that one ahead. Now Pesci. Stephen Lawrence. Defensively marked by Blackwell. Lawrence low to high. Pesci again. He'll move it. Keep everything on the outskirts here. Brendan Smith rallies in for Carolina. Geeky in a stick battle with Pesci. Giordano stretches out the ice. Don Scoy's got it. Blackwell's in front. There he is. Separated from it. On the back check by Svechnikov. Carolina gets it out. Alexiak. Donskoy. Goes off Blackwell. Through the center zone. Svechnikov will step in. Toe drag move. Good defense by Vince Dunn. He muscles Svechnikov. Who hammers Dunn. He's hammering Dunn. Svechnikov. The aggressor here will see how they handle it. Yeah, I believe the, the linesman came in quickly. Svechnikov started throwing the punches a little bit early for the exchange. You're going to see right here a reverse hit from Svechnikov. Dunn doesn't like it. Doesn't really give Dunn much of an option whether he wanted to fight or not. The gloves come off right away from Svechnikov. Dunn still has his on. He's able to get him off quickly, try to get back in. But I think they're going to be talking down in the circle about whether there's an extra given here for Svechnikov. There almost has to be. We'll see. Ian Walsh talking it over with Jacob Slavin and Jordan Eberle. You know, you've been in these things. Usually there's that moment where both guys kind of say, okay, we're going to go, but Dunn never had a chance. Usually there's the pushing and shoving just like that had happened in that play. When somebody says, hey, you want to go, or you look in the eyes and you know that that look is, hey, do you want to go? Yes, you do. Right. And then you drop and go from there. But when you're not afforded that opportunity, that's where usually the extra penalty should come in. Well, there's nothing on the scoreboard. And we'll see it again. Svechnikov and Dunn. So watch, there's the reverse hit. Elbow comes up, but the elbow is not what clips him. Dunn, physical player himself, doesn't like it, but it's right there where he goes in fast and starts throwing. Two on the board now. Power play for Seattle. Ten minutes flat left in regulation time. Off the draw, Giordano. Move to the outside off Pesci, furthered by Eberly. Here's Marcus Johansson. Moving in on Jordan Stahl. Giordano, top of the ring, Eberly. Defended nicely by Pesci. Saucer pass Giordano. One timer stopped by Anderson. The rebound for Quad by Alex Wenberg. Eberly out of the corner, moves it, awaiting the puck is Marcus Johansson. He'll shift in on Stahl. Bumpered out by Donskoy. Johansson gets it from Giordano to the goal line. Wenberg out in front, defended. Broken up by Ian Cole. No further play. Check that. Fred Pesci going down in front of Anderson. And that's a really good defensive play from Pesci. You had Everly sitting on the back post waiting. A good little move, power move there from Wenberg trying to get it over to Everly on the back side. We'll try and get the official word on the calls because if it's instigation, there is a 10 minute misconduct that goes to Svechnikov in addition. I don't think it is, though. 
Button will await word. Gord with 128 on the Kraken power play. Giordano moved across for Geeky. Shot taken, no tip for Schwartz. Here's McCann by Gord, picked off by Tara Pinen. He'll carry out shorthanded. He'll dump it in. Out of the corner. Aho picked up by the Krakens. Morgan Geeky. Shaden Schwartz with a self pass. Terrifying and comes back. Gord got there. Awaiting this way is Geeky. Morgan Geeky against his former team takes it in. He'll get it back from Jaden Schwartz. Go to the point for Giordano who walks the line. He'll survey. Wrist one high ahead on her. Off the glass and play. Geeky kicks it out. Here's Yanni Gord spinning away from the checker. Terrifying it. Geeky off a stick off Ajo. Tabo Terrifying will kill time. 35 seconds left. Now Susie, out to center, moved back. Everly in control. At the line, he'll move in at his side. Wenberg, it goes deep to the corner. To the point, it's Everly. Moved across in the ring, a shot taken. Stopped by Anderson from Donskoy. Now Marty Natchez gets to it. Carolina back out to center. Niederreiter serving the extra penalty. Is up and ready. He's out. Even turns on the ice. He greets Johansson, who cuts across. And the Canes pick it off. Through the center zone now. Wenberg will move it back. Seattle has time to set up a breakout. The extra call against Svechnikov was for roughing. Kokodiemi moved back. Cole at the point. Moves it by Jesperi, Kukadiemi, and now deep it goes. Colin Blackwell, cut off by Nita Ryder. Larson under pressure, 7.25 left to the wall. Kukadiemi moved in. Seth Jarvis off a defensive stick, it went off Larson. And now Tanev will get to it. He'll clear it right up the gut, held in by Smith. Stolen by Tanev. Here come the Kraken, Brandon Tanev. Self-pass, he's crunched hard and taken down by Ian Cole. Kicked along by Gord and back out to center. Seattle tags up with 13 minutes gone in this third period. Martin Hook at the line, lost his stick. Donskoy has the puck. He'll circle away, he lost his edge, and now Alexiak. Retreats, flushed out by Jordan Stahl. Right on the money for Donskoy, looking for that first goal. Gord, Donskoy, sealed off by Smith. Good play. Now Jesper Faust. Those cross ice. Jordan Stahl with Jordan Martinuk. He'll move in on Susi. It rolls around and the Kraken have control. Jordan Everly draws it to himself. Skates out to center. Plays it off the boards by D'Angelo. Slavin moves across for Carolina. Wenberg seals the wall momentarily. It's pumped out by Stahl. Now Larson. Dumped all the way around. Slavin back out. Carolina on the march. Cleared in by Ajo. Giordano to the wall. Johansson. Marcus Johansson. Everly shifting. He'll feather one in. He's shouldered by Jarvis. It goes deep. Shea. Wenberg on him. Out in front. Good back check by Jarvis. Seth Jarvis off the glass. Now to neutralize. A foot race ensues. Ajo broken up. Good play by Jeremy Lozon. Carson Susi for Seattle. Off a stick. Now Tannen. In the zone, went off Shea Skate. Jarvis kicks it to his stick, carries out. Played along for Brady Shea, he'll dump it in. 5.27 left, Susie. McCann, flips it out to center, Shea broke it up. Sends it right back in the Seattle zone. Grubauer leaves it there. Susie now, flushed out. Smith reads the play. Pass intended for Mason Appleton. Pesci. To the center zone, it's Nita Ryder. Brendan Smith for Carolina. Strum along the boards, it pops out as we see. Grubauer. More direct, a little bit of traffic here. Cracking, get it out. Brendan Smith will move across, under five minutes left. Nita Ryder forges in, he's finished off by Oleksiak, it goes out of play. We get a stoppage, Nita Ryder goes at Jamie Oleksiak. They separate. We'll have cooler heads here. 
446 left in regulation time. Down the stretch we go in Seatown. Kraken Hockey is brought to you by Jack in the Box. Try Jack in the Box's cheddar loaded cheeseburger on a cheddar bun and buy Symmetra Life Insurance Company. First founding partner of the Seattle Kraken and your teammate for whatever lies ahead. The iconic skyline of downtown Seattle. Late stages, 446 left, tied at one. Fubo TV presents the Kraken calendar, so after this, a very interesting road swing. Difficult back-to-back. -back. Tampa Bay Friday, Florida Saturday. Then we go to the Niagara Frontier, Buffalo Monday, the Motor City on Wednesday, and then come back and see Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, and the Edmonton Oilers on the other side of that. It's cleared in. To the boards, stall with Kokaniemi. Yanni Gord, Jesper Faust is on him. 4.33 left in this third period. Brendan Smith on the score sheet for Carolina. Jared McCann for the Kraken. Faust a wrap chance denied by Grubauer. Heck and whack time, and Grubauer kicks that one aside. Smith out of the corner. Stood up by Oleksiak. Jamie Oleksiak pinning Brendan Smith. We see it up close as we approach the 16-minute mark stall. Moves in. Smith supports it. Off Giordano, captured by Jaden Schwartz. He'll get it out. Jordan Stahl for Brendan Smith. Choked off a bit by Seattle's Carson Soucy. Brandon Tannen. Harry's out the center with a head of steam. On the off wing, he crosses. A toe drag right in. Pinned off by Anderson. Ajo back checking for Carolina. Back out through center. It won't make the line. No icing. Three and a half left. Dunn hassled on the way out by Natchez. Here comes Susie all the way back. Ten of nice pass for Appleton. He's on the off wing. Sweep check by Slavin on Mason Appleton. Slavin plays it to the outside. Johansson out of the corner. He'll dance a bit, circle the track, hold on to it. Why didn't he score? Hey, hey, what do you say? Marcus Johansson, Seattle by one. That's a really good effort from Johansson on this goal. He's able to take the puck, shield it away from Slavin, going behind the net. Right here he turns, right through the legs. His own defender, Ignatius, screens Freddie Anderson on the play and through Slavin's leg. That's one that Anderson can't see. A tough shot to go in, but a great effort from Johansson to be able to take that puck all the way around the net and decide to shoot it on that short angle shot. His fifth career goal against Carolina for the guy his teammates called JoJo, Marcus Johansson. Two to one, Kraken. Three minutes on the clock. Trocek goes to work on Lausanne. Teravainen moves it for Niederreiter. Larson is all over him, and now Alex Wenberg for Jordan Everly. He's all the way back in Seattle ice. 2.43 left in regulation time. Unassisted goal, Everly. Moves in. Chris Pesci will take over for Carolina. This is Tavo Teravainen. The Canes are changing. Anderson looks at the bench. EQC scoring summary. The goal for Johansson. D'Angelo back on it. 2.15 left. Kokaniemi. Out to center ice. Cut off by Oleksiak. He'll bounce it with touch. Gord gets to it. He shovels high. It goes in the screen for a stoppage. 2.02 left. Oxygen. JT, relax. Okay. 2.02 on the clock. Marcus Johansson brings the house down. 2-1, to one, Seattle.
Okay, J.T. Brown, let's tell the story of this one, the first goal from Brendan Smith. Great screen in front from Stahl. He's moving right across. Grubauer isn't able to see it. You have a power play goal from McCann. A little quick slap shot in and out very quickly. That set up the third period where just recently Joe Hansen with a great individual move, able to shoot it through two screens and get it past Freddie Anderson. Face off with the Carolina zone, false start. We'll do it again, 2.01 on the clock. Schwartz will be opposed by Jordan Stahl. And the hook will come out for Frederick Anderson. Carolina's used to this. Game's decided by one goal. Slavin moves it out. Off the stick, a high stick. Natchez. Larson smartly lets Carolina touch so they can blow it dead with a buck 49 left. And a faceoff will come outside the zone. Another important thing to note here, John, is that the TV timeout was later than normal because there wasn't a whistle within a certain amount of time and you're able to get a free timeout for both teams so both teams were able to rest and they yeah. both were able during that tv timeout to huddle up and choose what they want to do during the event of an empty net good point now it's dumped in anderson stays put obviously 140 left two to one seattle slavin and back of the goal final of six straight at home for the kraken Coming off their win against Washington, here's Stahl. Anderson for the bench. Six out for the Hurricanes. Svechnikov stolen. Schwartz has the puck out to center. Donskoy let it go. A hand pass will stop play against Carolina with 1.20 left. Giving Tuesday help us ensure all kids have a roof over their head, access to hockey and clean air to breathe on November 30th only. Your dollar goes farther. Every $1 will be matched up to $20,000. Go to oneroofffoundation.org slash donate to give at the right time of the year for all of that. Anderson goes back. 120 left in regulation time. Face off, controlled by the Kraken. Giordano, can at the line for Mason Appleton. He'll move it in. Anderson stays put for now. 67 seconds left here in Seattle. Marcus Johansson, difference-making goal thus far. This is D'Angelo. There goes Anderson. Slavin has the puck. Six out again for the Canes. Giordano, Larson, under pressure, moves it by Svechnikov. 50 seconds left. Svechnikov, here's Ajo. It's a bouncing puck. He'll settle it. D'Angelo for Ajo. Tony D'Angelo on and off his stick and deep. Seth Jarvis out of the corner. Now D'Angelo, Sebastian Ajo, fumbles a bit. 37 seconds left. Here's Slavin off a stick. Defensive stick of Larson, not out. Ajo off Appleton. Tanev gets it out. Foot race ensues, and Ajo gets there. 25 seconds left. Here comes Sebastian Ajo. Out to center ice shifting. Running into Wenberg. Larson moves it out to center. It's Tanev. He wins the battle. Appleton has the puck. He'll forge in. 15 seconds left. Shea out to center. Final push for the Hurricanes. Here comes Ajo. Nine seconds left. Larson out of the corner. Peppered by Svechnikov. Five seconds left. Centering pass. Nobody home. One second for Jarvis. That's it. You get the final word. Sometimes you have to find a way to win. Seattle was able to do that. They won the third period. They're winning, the, or they won the game. That's what you have to look at. That's what you're going to have to build on going into this tough road trip. What a victory. Philip Gerbauer is surrounded by his teammates and his supporting goaltender, Chris Drieger. Two to one over the league's best team, the Carolina Hurricanes. Back-to-back -back wins to close out the homestand. Let's take it downstairs. Once again, here are Tom and Allison.
John, JT, thanks so much. What an incredible night of hockey at Climate Pledge Arena. Just excitement through and through from start to finish, Allison. In the end, the result, the Kraken were looking for as they end this six-game homestand with back-to-back -back victories against two of the best teams in the NHL. Well, just like JT said, you have to find a way to win. You're going to have to win games in different ways, and that's what this Kraken team did tonight. They rode on the back of their goaltender. A tremendous victory. Good on this team for pulling that out. First victory for the Kraken this season in a game that ended by a score of 2-1. to one. So it really was one of those grinding games. Let's take a look at the goals scored tonight. One in each period of play. And we will get to that momentarily. Let's take a look at the Kraken as they make their way back to the locker room. Much to feel good about this evening. They have a long flight tomorrow. It won't seem quite as long in the wake of this victory this evening. Highlights, post-game reaction, much more coming your way on Kraken post-game right here on Root Sports. When the Kraken win in Seattle, the fish fly. <laughs> Marcus Joe Hansen with a game a winner late in the third period. And he'll send some fans home especially happy because they have a souvenir from tonight's hero, Joe Hansen, with his second goal as a member of the Kraken. Allison Lucan, Tom Glasgow with you. 2-1 victory over the Carolina Hurricanes by the Kraken tonight. Some very impressive stuff. Look, they had to hang in there. You talked about grinding. It was a grinder of a game. And once again, as we take a look at the highlights tonight, they had to play from behind. Not maybe so much of a big deal of late. Right. They were able to pull this out, yes. Brendan Smith late in the first, 128 remaining in the opening period, and Smith beats Grubauer. And again, that moving screen by Stahl in front really took away Grubauer's ability to see the puck and stop it. That's a really difficult save to try and make. Again, Seattle's going to start from behind. The Kraken, though, get the equalizer. 4-16 remaining in the second period. The power play. Again, very effective tonight. Jared McCann with the finish. Just a great use of the power play formation here. Moving that puck across the top, making the defense move. And then McCann with that skill finish, beating the goaltender in close. His fifth power play goal on the season. Tied for third best in the NHL. And then Joe Hansen. Great effort to get the game a winner late in the third. 308 left. This is good patience here. Moving the puck around, waiting to see if there's a chance. And again, to beat a goaltender like Frederick Anderson, who's been on his game, you've really got to find those small pockets. And the thread the puck in like that is an impressive, impressive shot from Johansson. So the team uh, statistics tonight, the one that counts most, 2-1 Kraken with a win. But Carolina out shooting Seattle. Seattle one for four on the power play. That was obviously critical. A hits advantage to Seattle. Look at the face-offs. A big advantage for Carolina. What are your big takeaways from those numbers? Well, you know, I think the biggest one is, like we said, this was a grind-out win for the Kraken. They were outshot. The things that usually lead to success were not necessarily happening with the skaters in front of the goaltender, but the goaltender was completely unstoppable tonight in terms yeah. of defending his home net and keeping this team in the game. Well, that takes us to one, Philip Grubauer, who has been outstanding the last two times out as we take a look at his stat lines from both Sunday and this evening combined. A win over Washington, 5-2. The win tonight, 2-1. Shots against 75, 72 saves, and look at that sparkling save percentage at 96. You know, we've We've talked about how goaltenders, just like skaters, have to adjust to the play in front of them, and sometimes it takes a little longer than maybe someone wants. But Carolina was expected to score over three goals tonight. They get only one. That's a goaltender difference-making performance right there. Again, a huge, huge stops on that penalty kill. I'm sure the Kraken knew how strong Carolina was on the power play, and so to have their goaltender back them up like that, again, allows you to play fully focused on what you need to do and not worry about what's happening behind you. Just an incredible effort, not just in terms of quality, but as you said, the volume yeah. he faced. This was a heavy workload, and he stood quite tall. 
And I think Philip would be the first to say this is not a one-man operation defensively, right? And he got a lot of help from his guys, especially really just sacrificing their bodies with a lot of blocked shots tonight. You know, when you have a team that's going to shoot as much as Carolina does, you're going to have to stand in front of some of that rubber. <laughs> so we expected to probably see a few more blocked shots come up there. And it's not a great stat because, again, it means you don't have the puck. You're not right. trying to get the puck. But to shut down these lanes, particularly early in period one, I thought the Kraken were quite strong here. And that can frustrate your opponent. It makes it a little harder to think that you can get pucks through. Look at everything that was coming at the net. And again, those red X's are those blocks. And keeping the puck completely away, not just from the shot being from a distance, but never even getting close to Grubauer allows him to conserve his energy and focus for the shots he really did have to defend. I'll tell you what, it was impressive all the way around as the Kraken they get it done by a score of 2-1. to one. Well, time now for hashtag where I root. Your photos getting on the air tonight. This one from Sam Kim. The Kims are here. And uh, to release the Kraken. And the Kraken did that. Got you a nice 2-1 win, Bob Rankin. Gary and Grammy's uh, first Kraken game. I hope you stayed for this one. A great third period, a great finish as they take it 2-1. Pat Seahawk, Duncan, all the way from Scotland to release the Kraken. That's how you have to say it, you know, when you're in Scotland. Appreciate that one, and that is an impressive uh, fan. Love to travel, love the photos. Keep it coming again. Hashtag where I root. A good one tonight. The Kraken end this six-game homestand with two really good wins, including this one tonight, 2-1 over the team with the best record in the NHL. More Kraken postgame coming up on Bruce Sports. Now the celebration in Seattle tonight. For every goal scored by the Kraken this season, WSECU will donate $250 to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Washington State. So far this season, the Kraken have scored 54 times, including the two goals tonight, leading to more than $13,500 in donations. Another reason to celebrate tonight. In addition to the 2-1 win over the Carolina Hurricanes, Allison and Tom with you. That winning goal was so much fun. I think we should take a look at it again. What do you do think? I, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Just Emerald Queen Casino. Trace is going to help us out. Just over three minutes left in this one. The game tied to one. Marcus Johansson does something about it. You know, and what's great about this play is going behind the net allows you to create separation between you and the defense. So Marcus Johansson challenges the defense. They either have to come with him, as one does, or say, we hope we can pick him up when he comes around the net. That's what gives him space to get that chance, and his skill gets him the finish. His second goal this season, and he is with Jen Mueller. Well, JoJo, I have watched highlights of your goal a few different times, and I am amazed. I don't think Anderson ever saw that. How did you maneuver the puck and keep him screened out? Uh, I don't know. I was just looking for, for options, and uh, I think it was able to go through the demon's legs and, and, and sneak in. And uh, You know, it had to be a, a dirty one tonight, but that's, that's the way we, we like it. We need to win those games, too, and uh, it's a great team win. So uh, this is how we need to play, and I think we're, we're starting to – to do that now on a consistent basis here over, I mean, 120 minutes pretty much. And uh, so we got to build off of that because I think when we play like that, we're going to be a lot tougher to beat. That third period was a little bit of a bounce back. What did Carolina do in the second to kind of stifle that offensive attack? Uh, well, they're really good on the forecheck. And second periods, it's, it's harder to, to get changes when they have a stone time on you. And, and, I mean, that happens. They're a really good team. They're one of the best teams in the league. So uh, they're going to do that to you at times. But I think we... we we weathered that storm pretty well. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but we battle through it, and and, uh, and guys are paying, paying the price. I think we're blocking shots, and, and and we're doing whatever it takes to to keep the puck out of our net, and and um, that's why we've been successful the last two games. Philip Grubauer. I keep using the word unbelievable. I don't think that that's characteristic enough. Like, what would you say about his effort tonight? I mean, he he was outstanding. I think he's just uh, he has that calm in the net, and and um, he made those big saves that you need. Uh, you know, the this, this stops where you know everyone thinking it's going in, but but he saves it, and, and it kind of gives you that momentum and and uh, gives the team a little bit of a spark. So uh, can't ask uh, much more from him. Well, congratulations on, as you said, a great team win tonight. Great. Thank you. 
All right, Jen, Marcus, thanks so much. Marcus calling it a, a dirty one, but a good one. Uh, and saying this is the way they're going to have to play. Um, it worked. It was a struggle, but that's okay. You took on one of the best in the league, and you got him. Absolutely. And, you know, I'm with Jen. I think that the statement great team win is what's so important. Mm -hmm. We've seen this team play so well, play the way they needed to play and not get results. Yeah. And to have two games in a row now, again, winning a little differently in each, but playing together, playing the way that they want, connecting with their identity, that's a massive step for this group. You just think of the mood change that's taken place over these past two games and where they were when that losing streak had reached six, knowing how difficult the competition was becoming, the road trip coming up that starts against the two-time defending Stanley Cup champion. Boy, they desperately needed these last two, and to their credit, they went out and got them. Hey, you want to see how fast you can shoot a puck? Oh, boy. Or oh, boy. How many goals you could save? Oh, boy. <laughs> you can test your skills, Allison, and everybody else at the Pacific Science Center's new exhibit, Hockey Faster Than Ever. Visit PacSci.org for tickets. I tell you what, standing ovations tonight during the game for Grubauer and the team, their performance tonight, how they fought through adversity they dealt with to get a 2-1 victory.